Welcome everyone to the Genus with Just Commentary, Sorry Crab. Guys, we're gonna react to a video entitled The History of Thailand Explained in Five Minutes. Of course, it's always good to learn and learn and learn new things about Thailand and the history of Thailand as we watch videos, as I'm learning videos, of course, as I'm learning about Thailand, sorry. Of course, thank you so very much for your questions. Like us, like us, like us on Facebook, guys. Don't forget to like this video, of course, share it with your family and friends. Subscribe, subscribe to Genus so with Just Commentary. Thank you so very much. Let's go ahead. Let's see. The history of Thailand explained in five minutes. Ooh. Fertile river valleys, surrounded by formidable mountain ranges really and forests. So I'm gonna put both headphones in. Thailand has provided bountiful wow. harvests for millennia, which has allowed for large populations. Thailand is home to more than 65 million people, the second largest Buddhist population on Earth, wow. and has never been colonized by European powers. Because Long of the before fights, the Thai people be migrated for freedom. from southern China into what is now Thailand. City-states and kingdoms arose in this region, wow. though most have been lost to history. From Chinese records, we know that much of this region came under the influence of the Indianized Hunan Empire. Although much is not known about them, we do know that they had wide-ranging trading contacts based off of Roman coinage wow. and Indian, Vietnamese, Filipino, and Chinese products found in the excavations of their port cities and trading posts. In 450 AD, the Thawarawadi Kingdom of Lavo established itself as an independent kingdom. To the east, the Chenla emancipated themselves from the Funan rule as well, creating an empire to rival the former. However, they would fall victim to infighting, separating into land and water Chenla. Wow. The northern state would rapidly disintegrate into smaller squabbling principalities, while the water Chenla would fall under the domination of Javanese and Sumatran rulers. Out of this chaos, the Khmer emerged as a powerful empire and longtime rival of the Srivijayan Empire, Jeez. fighting in many wars. Lot of history. Around the middle of the 7th century, the Thai people reached what is now northern Thailand. Centuries before, they had migrated out of southern China, avoiding direct Chinese dynastic rule, slowly making their way ever further south, eventually moving into Khmer and Mon territory. The Khmer called them Siam. Siam. In 1238, the Sokutai liberated themselves from the Lavo, who in turn were vassals of the Khmer Empire, establishing the first major... That's why they had so many kings! In 1292, the Mon Harapachi kingdom was overthrown by the Lana, establishing a second powerful Thai state. Sokutai and Lana were staunch allies, and when Sokutai was overthrown by a rival Thai state within its own borders... Yo, people have a lot of history. Lana would become a constant foe of this new kingdom. Ayutthaya. The city of Ayutthaya was an island, encircled by three rivers. Due to its defensible location, really? Ayutthaya became powerful politically and economically in a relatively short amount of time. From its foundation, it was a Buddhist state, in contrast to the Khmer aging and ailing Hindu superpower. In 1448, Sokutai wow. was absorbed into Ayutthaya, or Siam, as it became known in the West, Siam. after the establishment of trade with the Portuguese. After which point, Siam became extremely prosperous as an entry point for European goods into Southeast Asia. To the north, the Burmese Empire also rose to prominence during this time period, conquering the Thai Kingdom of Lana, and in 1547, a series of no Yo, that's a lot of history. Wars known as the Siamese-Burmese Wars, began to unfold between these two arch-rival kingdoms. Siam fell under their control shortly thereafter. However, this did not last long, and Siam quickly re-established itself under his greatest king, Narasuan, who overthrew the Burmese and conquered Lana. The brutal wow. wars between the Burmese and Siam would continue at a grueling pace, and in 1767, the Burmese would sack Ayutthaya, burning it down to the ground. Although the more than 400-year-old capital was reduced to rubble and ash, that was not the end for the Thai. A nobleman of partial Chinese descent, Taksin, would unite a fractured people and drive out the Burmese yet again. Yo. In his later years, Taksin, according to some sources, is said to have suffered from megalomania, believing himself divine and demanding to be worshipped. In response, he was overthrown in a coup d'etat. The general that overthrew Taksin established the Chakri dynasty, which still reigns today in Thailand. The Chakri expanded Siam to its greatest extent, and through adept diplomacy and maintaining a formidable military, Siam managed to avoid falling under British or French domination, a fate that befell nearly all of its regional neighbors. Wow. The Siamese Revolution of 1932 was a relatively bloodless coup d'etat, with absolute monarchy transitioned to a constitutional monarchy. 
During the Second World War, Thailand was governed by Field Marshal Palek. In the Franco-Thai War, which the Japanese negotiated an end to, Yo. hours after the Japanese attacked the American base at Pearl Harbor, they invaded Thailand, whom had a change of heart and allied with Japan, granting them access through their land to go attack Burma. After the war, Thailand was occupied by Allied forces and became an ally of the U.S. in the Cold War. Thailand's gradual democratization has been a turbulent process, and since 2014, martial law has been enacted by the ruling military junta, who has promised to enact a new constitution and hold elections in an expeditious manner as possible. And that has been a lightning-fast overview of Thailand's history. Let me know in the Jeez. comments what you think of Marshal Plek, the current situation in Thailand, what time period or event you find the most interesting in Thai history. This has been Epimetheus, and if you would like to support me making more videos like this, you can do so on Patreon, like this awesome wow. group of people over here on the left. Link in the description. Thank you so much. Oh my, yo, that is a serious five minutes video with a lot of history. That is why it had so many kings. There's a lot of that that there's seriously a lot of history you know i mean in, in my country you know hey it's an island a small island in the middle of the caribbean or well, the middle but between the caribbean and the atlantic ocean thailand is surrounded by different countries and it's amazing that we're seeing so many parts were once owned by one person and then one con um one kingdom then another then another then another then there was all this war going on for territories and we take things for granted and I am very happy that the history is being taught to others and they are doing videos about it so that persons who have no idea about this sort of things will know that it was not an easy road. Persons had to die, persons had to fight, persons had to conquer, persons had to lose for different kingdoms to reign and to rule and for even the modern Thailand right now, like someone from America, someone from England, someone from the Caribbean visiting Thailand, it's not just party party they have the history and it's not just about partying but learning about the history of thailand and learning different things and that's why i love about the people of thailand they keep the history while at the same time enjoying modern technology and modern life thank you so very much for requesting this video of course don't forget to subscribe subscribe to juno's with just commentary like us on facebook follow us on twitter if you want me to react to video leave a comment below thank you so very much bye guys Have you sunk your feet in a river's basin? Have you yet stood at nature's edge? Have you sifted through a breeze not native to your body? Have you smiled under a new sun? Do you know the depth of a valley's desire? the chords of a rainforest song. Do you know how to be your own music? How to unleash your softest fears to a foreign shore? We glisten here like new treasures. We who wrung our hands in the wrath of hurricanes. We who have been stripped bare and still bloom. We bend with the waves and wade with mountains at our backs. We dance in the rain and love in the heat. We listen the way only we know how. We see further than we're taught and we use the land to spell our names. We hold joy with open palms and laughter comes like morning, every tune, particular but sure. Succumb to the urge nipping at your joints. We are here and we've been waiting on you. So do something different. Come, rediscover Dominica.